Sister Karen was a trip. <laughs> Sister Karen, um, she was a nun, and uh, I would walk in, she'd be smoking with the train and drinking Presidente, and she's just... Sister Karen was, yeah, she cussed and she was not a typical nun at all, at all, at all, at all. She was also an artist. Uh, so there was, she was always thinking outside of the box. And uh, she had her, her morning meetings or whatever and there'd be coffee and, and pan dulce and then uh, there would be presidente and the cigarettes and, and you could hear her, you know, being very animated or or not and being just discussing at everything at everything um, I met her when I met her I was expecting a typical nun with a habit she never wore a habit always wore pants um, she never I never saw her in a dress ever 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 uh, or a skirt she um, always spoke her mind always spoke her mind and didn't mince any words. At, for the longest time, I didn't think she liked me. And then uh, I knew she really did like me a lot when she was, she made every effort to help find me a priest to marry me and my, my, my first husband. Uh, and she was just, she just helped a lot. She gave us chairs, she gave us, okay, tell me, what else do you need? Um, and she was just, she loved Armando, she loved uh, when I had babies, and she loved my kids, and they were just, she was just a great person, but you had to sort of understand her personality too. She wasn't going to be a touchy-feely kind of person, she was kind of prickly, um, but that was okay, that was her. And I sort of learned situation discrimination, and you learned uh, what she was feeling or what she was thinking based on how prickly she was or not.